Good morning. Thank you for joining practice today. As always, please practice according to your condition. This will be a slightly shorter class today, one hour. Um, I have uh, training to go to, so unfortunately I have to leave at six, uh, seven o'clock. So, um, so this will end at seven. I have to end at seven o'clock. So thank you very much for joining. Begin sitting tall, supremely still. Close the eyes and bring the attention inward. Nothing to do, nothing to seek. Everything you need can only be found within. Begin with the sound of Om three times to attract divine attention. Imagine you are becoming one with all beings. your mind on God alone. Oh. Rest your thoughts in God alone. you will live hereafter. Of this there is no doubt. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering and enjoy this practice through our senses. May we acquire a strong desire for liberation from pain and suffering. And may we cherish no ill feelings against each other. Only peace, love, joy, and compassion. So let's begin with a mantra for purification to purify this space, the grounds, and all the psychic channels within. Chant it along with me if you know the words. If not, just think of those effects of purification and you derive all the benefits. Imagine you're chanting it through your guru's, uh, imagine you're chanting through your guru's voice. Om na pavitra ha pavitra wa sa wa dashtanga to pi wa ya ha smarit pantrikaksham sa ba ya pihantra ha chiti. Now let's do a couple rounds of Kapalabhati. So imagine you're throwing the belly button against the spine, shake up the lungs, and this helps to promote release of the toxins. It also helps to aerate the lungs and oxygenate the blood. So don't worry about the egg inhale, it's passive. Concentrate mostly, mostly on the exhale and the pressure built by the exhale will allow you the inhale to happen automatically. One exhale per second roughly. Hands in Yana Mudra, skin finger and thumb tips connected, other three fingers extended, resting, hands resting on the knees. Stand, um, sitting tall and st straight, inhale. Exhale completely, hand to the lungs, and inhale again part way. Begin. breath in here. Fill up the lungs right to the top of the chest, then hold the breath. Keep the chest high, bring the chin right against it. 
contract the perineum muscles, pull them up towards the navel. All the attention at the space between the eyebrows and the tongue behind the teeth to the upper palate. Keep the tension at the root and the throat. Back is straight. Slowly exhale, try to exhale through a steady stream. Control the exhale so that it's smooth and steady. From the solar plexus, inhale up to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Once again, solar plexus to the space between the eyebrows. Exhale back down to the solar plexus. Ignore me for a couple of cycles. Remember to keep your nostrils wide open and bring your attention to the navel chakra, Manipura. Stimulates that chakra. And inhale part way, round two. Begin when you're ready. Exhale completely. Again, breathe in deeply all the way to the top of the chest, lift the chest. Top inhale, hold the breath, chin on the chest again, contract the root muscles, pull them up towards the navel. Pull the pelvic floor up. All your attention at the space between the eyebrows. Keep your attention there to draw all the prana there, the vital force. Slowly exhale again, under control. Allow the breath to leave in a steady stream. Now let's come to standing. Continue with the rest of the practice here. Do the exercises with enthusiasm and breathe vigorously in order to promote uh, further release of the toxins. From here on in, watch the body moving by itself. Imagine you're the witness watching it all. Inhale, sweep the arms up, down. Inhale straight up, exhale down. Continue. And now in front of the body, inhale, extend the arms out of the shoulders. Exhale, pull in. And release, swing the arms back and forth. Try to get the arms behind the ears. Chest squeeze tight. Exhale, throw the arms back. Alternate the cross each time across the chest. And release. Bring the arms up over the head now. Inhale. Exhale, throw the body down. 
nice easy swings. Bend your knees a little bit as you come down. One more. Stay hanging down for a moment. Allow the body to stop shaking. And then roll your way up. Now bring the arms up over the head. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, come down into a squat. Just go down as far as you can. Don't uh, be respectful of your limitations and the condition of your knees. One more. And pop right back up. Pull the elbows out to the side. Height to the shoulders and twist from side to side. Exhale to complete the twist on each side. Again, incorporates a squat, four movements in the sequence. Inhale, swing the arms up, exhale down, inhale straight up, exhale, pull the arms down on its sides. Let's go together. Next one, bring the arms out in front of the chest again at the height of the shoulders. Inhale, circle around backwards to the front. Exhale, pull and punch right back out. Feel as though there are spring in your arms. And then drop the arms down by the body. The same type of movement, except you're going around a full circle and a quarter. Inhale, circle around to the front. Exhale, pull in and drop the arms back down to the starting position. And release. Bring the feet a little bit uh, further apart, the, the feet about the width of the mat, toes pointing out beyond the edges of the mat. So. Lift the left arm up, inhale, exhale, bend to the right, right arm up, inhale, bend to the left, continue. same movement change up the breathing a little bit inhale left arm up go to the right and hold it hold the breath exhale release right arm up inhale carries you to the left and hold the breath as you go a little bit deeper if you can exhale release continue on your own still try to stay with me Dharma says, copy the teacher, physically and mentally, if you can imagine. And then you connect psychically with your teacher, and then they share. They're uh, all too happy to share all the knowledge with you. Meditation expresses devotion. Be devoted to the inner guru within, uh, the source of the highest knowledge. yourself in the sensations. Imagine 
Imagine all beings sensing all your sensations through your body. So practice in a way that is the most beneficial to deliver the best of the best benefits to them. One more on each side. Work the trunk muscles here, the core muscles. Inhale, arch the back, stretch the belly skin. Exhale, stretch the back skin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, push the heart forward. Exhale, pull it right up in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, make sure you don't jam up the lower back or the back of the neck. Exhale, near nor the throat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now come back to neutral back. Raise the right leg up, inhale, exhale, swing it out to the right. And bring the leg up, feels like throwing it up there. And then the other leg now, left leg up, inhale, exhale, swing it out to the left. to the belly. Take the elbows out in front, and, um, rest your, um, your forehead on the top of the hands. On the inhale, keep the lower back, uh, lower body anchored down, lift chest, pull the elbows up to the side as far back as you can, exhale, sweep the arms across one another to open up the upper back, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, up, Forward, up so you don't jam up the back of the neck. Down, up, down, up, down. One more, up, and down. Just rest here for a moment. Forehead on the hands, breathe in, breathe out. Remove all fatigue around, feel it dropping out of the body. Next one, bring the arms out in front. Two options, raise the arms and the legs up and then back down. Or you can use, you can rock back and forth, so it's use the momentum of the legs and hips coming down to throw the upper body up, it looks like this. So don't use your hands too much. Use the strength of the legs and the hips coming down. 10 times. Last one, if you're doing the back and forth swings, it also helps to push into the top of the chest a little bit of collarbone. All right, just for our future reference. Hands underneath the shoulders, come up into table and bring your seat all the way back behind the heels. Next one has four movements. Inhale. 
Inhale, come up as high cat, rounding your breath. Exhale into cobra, chest forward, head back. Inhale, back into high cat, round your back again. Exhale, sweep the hips, the, the seats back, lengthen the spine. Inhale, come up and forward. Back up and back, child's pose. Inhale up, exhale forward. Not to lock the joints, keep the softness there. Up and forward, watch the body moving gracefully. Up and back. Try to move in a way that won't form kinks or discontinuities in the spine. And forward, up and back. Always smooth, fluid movements. Up, forward. Imagine your wave on the ocean coming out of the water, cresting and starting this descent back down, disappearing back into the ocean. And up, forward, up, and back. Create as much space in the chest as possible, as much length. Approach your true nature, which is formless, which is boundless. forward, up, and back, one more, up, forward, lose yourself in the sensations, up, and back, rest here for a moment, breathe in, breathe out all fatigue, softening the hips, next we're going to do sliding into cobra on the inhale and then holding the, at the top of the pose. So inhale, slide forward, create the body between your arms, and then hold the pose as you hold the breath here. Exhale all the way back. Other option, come in. Inhale, you can come up into baby plank, drop your hips between your hands, chest forward, head high. Hold the breath here again. Exhale back. Your choice of entry, move according to your condition. Inhale. Forward. Feel as though your snake creeping through the grass. Imitate its movement. Exhale back. Inhale, coming up. Lifting the head, peering out at the world. And return. Inhale, glide forward. Pull with your arms to uh, propel the body forward with more power and ease. Inhale forward, rise up, push with your hands, lift the chest, bring your head all the way back towards the seat, over the seat, and release. Inhale. Imagine yourself in the body of the snake. Imagine having that boundless range of motion. Inhale, but some if you want to come up, you can come onto your fingertips. So you can bring your feet up, so you can touch your head. Don't worry if you don't, your head and your toes don't meet. Just try your best. And back. Inhale, come forward. Feel as though you're squeezing socks behind your knees. Lift up as much as you can. Get as much height as you can. Exhale, back. Inhale, come forward. Drop the shoulders, push with your fingertips. Feet will come closer to the head each and every time. Have no expectations, have no attachments to the results. Just again, it's the effort that counts, it's the intention that's most important. Just put, in, put forth your best effort. Inhale. Back one last time. Inhale. Rise up gracefully and release down. Inhale, exhale, soften everything. And then come. 
Come forward again at the table, onto your belly, and then flip over onto your back. Inhale, lengthen, pull the arms over the head, stretch the body. Exhale, tuck, pull the knees in towards the body, chin to the knees. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, tuck. Squeeze the thighs to the abdomen. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, powerful movement to your stretch. Exhale, squeeze them as tight as you can. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more like this, inhale, exhale, next inhale, stretch as much as you can, now hold the breath as you tuck this time, push the lower back into the mat, bring your shoulders up, try to get your chin, your chin over your knees, and release. Inhale again, lengthen, hold the breath and tuck. Squeeze tight, cross your ankles and release. Inhale, stretch, hold the breath and tuck. Engage the root muscles, the throat, lock, root lock and release. Inhale, stretch and again, contract all the muscles, feel them all working. Release. Inhale. Hold the breath and tuck. Release. Inhale. And tuck. Squeeze tight. And release. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Lengthen. Stretch. And hold the breath and tuck. And release. Last time. Inhale, stretch. Pull up the heels, stretch your fingertips, and tuck. Pull everything in. Make yourself as compact as possible. Release. For a moment, just rest in Shavasana. Inhale. Exhale, just relax again. Feel all the tension just dropping out of the body. All right, now bring your arms over the head, and then if you can, swing the legs right up, lift the seat up. If you get your legs over your feet behind your head, it doesn't matter if they don't come all the way down to the ground behind. And then roll down, legs come down as soon as the feet touch down. Come back to the seated, and then pull your body down along, um, over your legs. You can use your momentum if it's easier to get yourself to seat position. If otherwise, so you can wait till the heels come down and use your core to come up. And continue. Try to make the transitions as smooth as possible. Try not to try to avoid all the jerky movements. Feel like a ball of yarn being rolled up and then unraveling. Watch the body moving. Lovely. Just breathe in a way that feels intuitive, that allows the body to move more easily. The breath will figure it out for you. Let's do one more. Legs over the head. Tanasana, come all the way down. Bring the legs over your head one more time for prow, and then as you come down this time, bend your knees, plant the feet, and come right to standing. We're going to make our way to the front of the mat here for Surya Namaskara.
imagine this as your divine duty to all beings everywhere. Raise your arms up over the head. Come down into a forward fold. Bend your knees if you need to, bring your hands flat on the ground. Then the right leg comes back into lunge. Sit down, take a seat. Lift the head. Come into high plank. Lower down the knees, chest, and forehead to the ground. Glide between the arms. Slowly coming up into your cobra. Roll your toes back into downward facing dog. Lift the seat up the back, not the heart. Right foot steps towards the hands again. If you need to, lower the knee down first. If the foot doesn't make it all the way, use your right hand to assist the foot forward. Feet together, chest on the thighs, head down. Come up to standing. Arch back as you see fit. According to your condition, hands back to the heart. Raise your arms up over the head. Stretch the whole front of the body. Go down. You can bend your knees to bring your chest on your thighs. Head down. Left all the way, left foot all the way back into a lunge. Into the high plank. Lower down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Knees, chest, forehead down. Scoop right through. Fall through to the cobra. Shoulders back. Head high. Roll over your toes. Adho Mukha Savanasana. Last foot steps forward. Again, make the adjustments as you need to to ease the movement for you. Pull the feet back together, Uttanasana. Land the belly on the thighs. Come all the way back up. Hands back to the heart. Reach up and back. Every movement reflecting devotion, surrender, humility. Pull the head down towards the ground as you're bowing. Right foot back into a lunge. Sink down, take a seat. Come into high plank. Lower down knees, chest, forehead. Pull with your arms. Propel yourself forward. Bhujangasana. Adho Mukha Savanasana. Melt the heart. Right foot steps forward to the hands. Soft knee. Feet together. Move in a way that is pleasing to watch. The witness that is always observing. Hands back to the heart without judgment. Nothing but unconditional love on your mind for what you observe. Imagine you're seeing yourself move through the eyes of the Supreme Self. Left foot is back into the high plank, lower down, Ashtanga Namaskar. Come forward into the cobra, Adho Mukha Savanasana, lift the seat up and back. Pull the hips back. Left foot steps forward, feet come together, bow to the legs. Come right to standing. Hands back to the heart. Adding on, reach the arms up over the head. Stretch the whole front of the body. Fold down over the legs. Bend the knees, chest on the thigh. Join hands behind the back. Extend to the crown and push the body further back with your body. And legs back further back with your body and pull the arms over your head beyond. As though you're trying to get them to the ground from your head. Now release the hands, bring it down beside your feet, right foot back, lower the knee down. Sink down, take a seat, arms over the head. Make a crescent shape, move with your body, kapiyasana. Arms over the head, and then bring the hands back down. From here, come back into high plank. Lower down, ashtanga namaskar, knees, chest, forehead down. Fly forward into the cobra, back into Adho Mukha Savanasana. Immediately raise your right leg up and back. Ekapada Adho Mukha Savanasana. Now come forward, bring your shoulders over the fingertips, set the foot down softly between your hands. Back knee down again, lower the seat, arms over the head. Pull the body by the hips. And then bring the hands back down. Left foot comes in to meet the right chest on the side. Join the hands, extend through the crown. Again, pull the body down onto your legs. Forehead perhaps comes to the if your legs are straight. Don't worry if you don't straighten all the way, just keep your body with your thighs. And come right up, arms over the head, standing salute. Hands back to the heart. Raise your arms up over the head, reach up high. Go down. Chest again, glute to the thighs, join the hands, extend through the crown. Uttanasana, push the seat up and back, head comes towards the ground. Then release the hands, left foot back, lower the knee down, sink down, take a seat, point the toes to the left foot. Bring the arms up and back, pull the body by the hips. And then bring the hands back down, step back into plank, 
lower down knees, chest, forehead. Glide through between the um, arms into cobra. Send your seats up and back down to facing dog. Left foot comes all the way up and back. Ekapada Adho Mukha Savanasana. And again, come forward. Shoulders over the fingertips so that the foot can land a little bit more easily between your hands. Knee down, hips down. Raise your arms up over the head. And then back down. Bring the feet back together, chest again on the sides. Join the hands, extend through the crown, and pull the body down into a deep dive. Release the arms, bring them over the head. Arch back. Hands back to the heart. Arms up over the head, a new variation this time. Be open to all experiences. Be receptive, remain receptive. Lift the hand, chest, push into your hands. From here, you can see if you can jump back into chaturanga or walk back. Otherwise, with modification, just walk back into um, Kamanchi Valley. And then lift up again to Cobra if you can. Lift your hips up off the mat and the knees as well. Lord from Mukha Savanasana. Make like a dog howling at the moon. Pulse a little bit. Try to get your chest open more and higher up. Feels like howling at the moon like a dog. Roll over your toes back into Aramukha Savanasana. Melt the heart. Now imitate the dog stretching its back. Copy it again mentally. Exhibit the loyalty of the dog to its master. Always playful. Always. Um, always. In service to its master. And then lift the heels. Bend the knees up to the hands. Bring your feet forward, hopping or walking. Pull the body down onto your legs, Uttanasana. Come all the way up to standing. Hips forward, legs in front of the body, hands back to the heart. One more time, lift the arms up over the head. Come forward and down, Uttanasana. Peel the chest up off the sides, head forward, push into your hands. Again, back into Chaturanga, hopping or walking or flat on your belly. Come up into cobra, or if you can, lift your hips and knees again up off the ground. Now roll over your toes back into downward facing dog. Sink the heart. Let's try a couple more. Roll around your back forward, over your toes, into upper facing dog, and roll back. Tuck the chin in around your back, and then sink the heart into downward facing dog. One more time. Roll over your toes, tuck the tail. Again, smooth move. Feel like a shapeshifter moving through the forms with ease, with effortlessness, with grace. Downward facing dog. Then lift the heels, bend the knees up between your hands. Bring your feet forward, hopping or walking. Pull the body down onto your legs. Come right to standing. Arch back, hips forward. Hands back to the heart. Take pause here for a moment. From the heart, breathe up to the space between your calves. Exhale back down to the heart. Remain established in divine love for all beings. Release. Don't come to the middle of the mat. And from here, ballet pose. Standing on your left foot, take hold of the inside of the right heel, thumb behind the heel. If you can, extend the arms and the legs at the same time. Try to have your toes and your fingers at the same height. So if some, some might be with the feet and the fingertips about the height of the shoulders. If you're more flexible, try to bring your leg up higher, close to the shoulder, lean a little bit to the left, so you can even at the height of the fingers with the toes. If you need to, if it's too much, just keep holding onto your knee or hold underneath, um, underneath the lower leg. Now, engage leg muscles so that the leg doesn't come crashing down. We're gonna move into another one from here. So swing the leg all the way back, right into eagle, dive forward. Try to get your head about the height of the knee. If you need to, you can always put your fingertips on the ground. If you lose your balance, have no concern. Continue to be like the wind is watching everything. Imagine you're soaring from a great height, soaring down it. Push 
should your left foot return, come back up. Try it on the other foot now. Push down through the right foot, the base of the toes, the toe pads, and the heel. The edges of the feet come up into your uh, belly pose. Exude the magnificence, the poise, the gracefulness of a dancer. Again, you can look up. Just the height of your foot and fingers so they're roughly at the same level. Carefully release the foot, keep your leg muscles engaged if you can so that the foot doesn't touch down or come crashing down. Again, we'll move in a way that is pleasing to watch so you don't send the witness into an agitated or restless state. Bring your left leg up higher, get a little bit more extension. Press into your right foot to come back up. Now from here you can turn sideways, face the long edge of the mat, bring your fingertips on the same height as the elbows, jump your feet apart. And then turn to the left for Vida Bhadrasana 2. Gaze over the front fingertips. Exude the determination, the confidence, and the devotion of the warrior. Steadfast dedication to the people they protect. Bring your right arm forward and up. If you need to, you can lift your back heel so that you can square up your hips a little bit more easily. Rise, sink a little bit lower. Press the edge of the outer edge of the foot down, the inner edge too. Expression of abject surrender. Now lower the back knee down, flatten up the toe. You can take all the opposite elbows here, push the head back into the arms, lean away from the leg. Sink down to the seat, stretch the toes back. If you want, you can now extend your arms for Kapiyasana. Keep your elbows close to the ears. Try not to bend your elbows, think of the shape of a crescent moon. Open up yourself to divine grace. And coming back up from here, bring your hands down on the inside of the right foot. Move the left, right foot a little bit, uh, inside the left foot, sorry, move the left foot a little bit further to the edge of the mat. And then just rock back and forth a few times, pushing up the toes. Try to get your feet to sink. And then from here, lower the knee down, flatten out the toes, roll to the right. See if you can get the right form down, roll to the left, left form maybe come down, comes down as well. Keep telescope in the chest and head forward. The more you do so, the more the body will come down lower and lower, eventually maybe right on the ground. If you can't get your chest on the ground, go ahead. You can bring your left hand to the arm to the outside of the foot to give yourself more space. Gaze straight ahead without blinking, just like a lizard. Imagine you're the lizard sunning itself on a warm earth. Break the pose, come back onto your hands, slide your left foot in a little bit closer, bend the toes under on the right foot. I'm going to do it this way so you can see it. Uh, movement, Parivita Pashal Kanasana, right arm up. You can stay higher if you like, just bring the hands to the outside of the knee, left hand can come to the hip, pull the hip down or onto the seat, turn to the left. If you want, lean back and bring the left hand to the outside of the, of the back heel. Inhale, push the lower back up and in, exhale, twist to the left, push the knee and the foot towards the right. Give you a little bit of counter resistance. If this is too easy, right arm, turn forward again, right arm up and then bring the elbow down on the outside of the thigh. The armpit is right against the outside of the knee, hands in prayer or fist, left fist and right hand. Push the chest, uh, the body up so the belly's higher than the thigh, push the chest toward the thumbs. Roll the left shoulder all the way back as hard, much as you can. Try to get both shoulders at the same height eventually. Those of you can take a bind, go ahead. Left arm goes over the back. 
right arm underneath the leg and then join hands just against the belly. Take the back knee off the ground as well if you like. Go according to your abilities. Break the pose, bring the hands back down. The right hand slides a little bit in front of the right shoulder. Just spin so you're on the outer edge of that right foot and then so you can bring the foot in so you can flatten up the foot. Bring the left foot on top of the right or in front. Come into Vasisthasana, hips forward. If you need to modify, lower the right knee down. If you want to go further, slide your left toes back, spin on the heel of the palm. that's supporting you, come into wild thing. Of course, you can do other variations if you know them. You're strong on your right hand and right foot. You can always see if you can release the left foot up off the ground, take hold of the knee. Take hold of the foot. Return to downward facing dog. Just wait here. And then step your left foot forward to the hands. Spin on your feet, face the long edge of the mat. Arms up to the side, come all the way up again. Good, so now turn to the right. Point your right toes to the right and then sink down into warrior two. If you're facing the wrong way, just jump 180 degrees. So from here, you would just do this. Okay, and then go into your pose. Strong, determined like the warrior. Swing the left arm up now to meet the right hand, chest, hips forward. Again, lift the back knee if you need to, and that back heel. Straight line from the base of the spine right up to the fingertips. More flexible, back foot down, drop your leg down and your hips down a little bit more. And now, lower the knee down completely to the ground, flatten up the toes. Take hold of your opposite elbows, or a little bit lower, just between your elbows and your shoulders. Push the head back into your arms, lean away from the leg. Hips stay forward. You can stay here, keep pushing your chest up. You can extend your arms, Kapyasana. Make like a crescent moon. Radiate your inner light. It's the light of all beings around you, just like the moon reflects the light of the sun. You're all light-filled beings. Break the pose. Bring the body back up. Hands to the inside of the right foot. Right foot moves out to the edge of the mat. Push off uh, the toes a few times. Traverse back and forth. And then bring the knee down again, flatten up the toes, roll to the left. See if you can get the left form down, roll to the right. See if the right form comes down if you need to, just stay on the higher onto your hands if it isn't not working for you. And keep telescoping the chest forward again. So imagine your lizard sunning itself on the warmer. Eventually try to have your knee higher than the rest of the body. Inching forward. Merge with all forms. Be one with them. Eventually become as comfortable in your bodies as you are in your own. And then coming back up. Walk your hands back towards you, lift up. Coming into more upright position, the legs are like a box. Bend the toes under the left foot, left arm up. You can start with a simple twist, right hand on the right thigh, roll the thigh down, or hands on the seat, or lean back, and take your hands to the inside of the knee. Inhale, push the lower back up and in. Exhale, push the knee and the foot towards the left as you turn towards the right. If you want to go further, Palyapita Pashva Kanasana. Hands together. Make sure your 
pushing down the right hand to the left, so your hands not the height of the shoulder. You want to push down so the body comes up, and then the center of the chest will meet the thumbs perhaps at some point. Roll the right shoulder back, keep pulling the right hip back. Turn the face and chest up. You can take the back knee up off the ground. If you want to take a bind first, it might be a good time to do it while you'd be still on the ground. And then if you want. Trying to lengthen on the inhale, push the heel back, extend through the crown, exhale, rotate a little bit more. Now release, bring hands down to the ground in front, left hand a little in front of the left shoulder, and then just from here, spin on the back foot, come on the other edge of the foot, and then flatten out the toes, bring the left foot in a little bit, Cross the right foot over or stack it on top, Vasisthasana. Hips forward, try not to sag down, modify as you need to, we'll bring the left knee down, or go further, wild thing. Flip your hips and chest up, you have to stay strong through the arm, and the standing leg, foot flat on the ground, 45 degrees. Hip stays up, so you can have more steadiness to take your advanced variations those who want to. Break the pose, back into downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, soften. Step the right foot between the hands, again spin on your feet, face them on the edge of the mat, arms out to the side, come right back up. From here, bend your knees, bring your fingertips together, and then push your hands down. By the sides of the body, standing tall like a mountain now. From the base of the mountain, the base, the root of the spine, breathe all the way up to the summit, the crown. Exhale back down to the base of the mountain. Remain solid and unshakable in your devotion to the practice. Now come down. Hair pose, forehead to the ground, lift the seat up as much as you can so your hips come over the knees. If it's too much pressure on the back of the neck, just move your head forward. Push the belly button towards the front, uh, towards the lower back, so you're trying to push it right through the lower back. Now some of you might be able to come into headstand from here. You can just turn your hands around, come onto your fingertips if you like. Make them wide, just beside your knees, not too close to the head, right further away. Your arms are more than 90 degrees, and then walk your feet towards you. You can bring one leg back behind, and then you can just here, just pulse up and down up off the heel. So when the heel comes up, the hips come up higher. Perhaps the knee comes right to the thigh, the thigh comes right to the belly. From here, bend your toes back and see if you can hover your toes above the ground. You're always in control, you're always moving softly and mindfully, no big fast jumps. If you then keep pushing back through that left foot or the foot behind you, eventually your feet will come to the same height. Imagine your feet are like fruit dangling from a tree, keep them heavy. More advanced. Peel one finger off at a time, eventually you're just on the very tip of the index finger, most of the weight on your head. Again, according to your comfort level. Stay steady, take a few more moments here if you can, whatever variation you're doing. Keep watching yourself like you're the witness to all of it. and then come down. Come back into child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. And roll your way up. Press with your fingertips, lift your hips. And then from here, you can bring your one hand to the uh, right hand to the right foot, if you can, left hand to the left foot, and push your hips forward. 
If that was too much, just stay upright first. Put your hands on your seat, bend the toes under. And then you can stay here, push your heart up, push your hips, your seats down and in. Bring your head back. If you can, you can lean back a little bit, keep your thighs engaged, right hand to the right heel, left hand to the left heel. Then just bring your heels together, lock your index fingers, your baby fingers together. Then from here, push your hips forward again. Rapid pose, bring your head all the way back. back again, so your shoulders behind your feet, one hand right at a time to your seat, the other hand push into your toes, your legs, your lower legs, and come back up into child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Roll back up, bring your legs in front, knees bent a little bit, your knees together. Right hand behind the seat, left arm up, and bring your right, uh, left arm against the right outer thigh. Inhale, lift to the chest, exhale, twist to the right. Try to push the knees further beyond the left edge of the body. Keep your back straight, your hand right against your, the center of the back. back, go to the other side, left hand again, right behind the back, if you have it too far away, you'll lean back, try to have the back vertical, right arm up, outside of the left thigh, inhale, lift to the chest, exhale, again, push your knees to the right as you twist to the left, try to keep your belly free, chest open, Imagine you're bringing all the toxins out of the organs through these twists. They're very detoxifying. Poses. Release and just come down onto your back for a few moments. Lie down. Rest the body. Once you're down on the ground, take a deep breath in. Exhale, imagine you're fainting. Just drop all the fatigue out of every part of the body, all tension. Release the exhale. And also, with each inhale, fill yourself up with goodness. Fill yourself up with all the incoming benefits. The practice, all the energy from all yogis, all beings radiating light and energy and love. Take it all in, absorb it. Exhale, just let all the barriers that for some reason find resistance against this goodness, feel them all dissolve, melt away. Open yourself up to the grace of God, to all the love that's around for God resides in all beings. Accept all that. God's love and grace resides in each and every being. Welcome it in. Fill yourself with it. Create more space within to hold all beings within, with gratitude and with love, remain established in that grace and love towards all, in compassion, it is through this practice that we cultivate compassion through the imitation of the forms to embodying their virtues.
this in a mindful way. Come back to seated position, sit in tall and supreme. We'll close the practice with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Instill the peace within, send joy to all beings. Continue to hold space for all beings. Hold a loving, compassionate, Thank you so much for joining today. Have a wonderful day.